Hey there guys, this is Joffrey with Goose Lawn Care. I got Lainey right here with me. You've maybe seen her before in some videos. And she's 18 months old. And this is part of the reason why I have not been on YouTube in a long time. She is crazy and she takes a lot of our time. But we wouldn't trade her for the world because uh, she's a joy and delight. But four kids, this is the youngest one, 18 months old. And she keeps us on our toes. That is for sure. So, uh, Lainey, can you say hi? Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and she is talking and she gets into everything. But uh, anyway, I got some clips here that I've made just over the weeks and months. And I'm uh, just kind of piecing stuff together. I was talking to you the last time I was on here. Uh, about uh, how the season had been going and things had been a little bit nuts and I just noticed this wire here does not look like it's in very good shape so hopefully it's not going to break on me I'm um, glad I just caught that when I'm right by the mower I don't know if you can see that but anyway uh, something to do with the starter there but anyway things have just been nuts we've had a lot of rain here it's finally started to uh, let up and it's gotten hot so of course that helps but uh, you know I got like I said I got some footage and I'm just piecing stuff together um, you know earlier I had some breakdowns and uh, things just been frustrating this year but uh, stay tuned and you just check out all the footage here I got that I'm gonna put together all right Laney can you say bye <laughs> Bye. That's more trouble, though, actually, with my Commercial 30 X Mark and uh, the, the uh, cable for the self propelled, the drive cable broke. And so I'm waiting on the part for that. I've actually still been using it. I do have a Honda push mower that I've used a little bit, but I've also been using the uh, 30 still just pushing it. And let me tell you, that is uh, not fun. But uh, it's a good workout, you know me in shape that way I just think back of uh, my days of wrestling and bailing hay and things like that in my youth and I'm okay I can manage it you know it's mostly just small places but I'll get some footage of that right now here in a little bit and uh, it ups my heart rate a little bit and gets me breathing a little bit harder but that's good for me uh, you know I needed that the only problem is it's uh, super hot out here still so uh, that's the downside to it, but I'll get that new cable and then uh, I'll be good to go. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind, but I'll get some footage of that. Also, uh, maybe got some other things planned here. I'd like to start doing a few videos again since it's been so long. Um, so uh, stay tuned here.
want to show you guys this here. This is uh, called Tenacity. It's a herbicide that's a pre and post emergent herbicide. This grass here that's white, uh, that's called Nimble Wheel. And it is like a warm season grass. And uh, I sprayed this Tenacity on it. And what it does is Tenacity turns it white because it doesn't let it take in chlorophyll. And you see there's some creeping Charlie in there that I sprayed. And this, uh, it takes a while for it to do. It's been about two weeks ago. And so it's slowly killing it off um, with this nimble wheel, this white nimble wheel here. I think a lot of that will come back out of it though. And you have to spray it again. But it's good stuff. It's a pre and post emergent herbicide. Check it out, Tenacity is the name of it. Um, it's good stuff, it's expensive, but you just use a very tiny amount when you mix it. And over here, there was a lot of Creeping Charlie over here as well. And you can see, it's kind of baked it pretty good. But uh, that's what it does, it turns it white first. Here's some more of that Nimble Wheel. I kind of like the look of it. It's like variegated grass. I told my wife that. So kind of like, you know, variegated hosta. And she's like, uh, no, people don't like white grass. I kind of like it. Yeah, hey guys, this is Joffrey here with Good Lawn Care. Hey, I'm at this, prop I'm at this property here. Got a nice little pond here. And then uh, look back here behind me. Making some stripes. There's the house. Um, hot day out here. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, property. Um, this is amazing. Nice leaves, nice yard. Uh, but uh, just laying some stripes down and uh, enjoying the hot weather. I feel like uh, the grass is really long and it looks good here from a distance. But the uh, clippings. It is uh, Clippings Lane. It's just not cutting real great. It's too long. Uh, really needs to be double cut. But, uh, not going to do that property today. Because it's so uh, time consuming. It's a big property. I normally do not mow this. I'm just uh, filling in for someone. Uh, the homeowner mows it themselves. Alright, we're going to get some. So look at this here won't get too close uh, I stayed away when I was mowing well, that's pretty cool just swarms of them um, I also want to show you this ash tree it's got a bunch of ash trees on this property and if any of it, any of you know anything about ash trees uh, they're all getting eaten alive by the emerald ash borer and uh, see if I can pull one of these off I don't know if you can tell that, but that uh, vine there, not vine, but the stem has kind of like a square feeling to it when you roll it around your fingers. What he had told me was a couple years ago when I was here, he said he had talked with an uh, arborist or I don't know who you'd call him, someone that worked for the state and they studied that kind of stuff. And they said you actually have what's called blue ash trees. That's the variety of ash. There's green ash and white and many different ones, I guess. But uh, blue, I, and I'm I'm not 100% sure he said blue, but I think he did. But the blue ash, what it was, was uh, the one where the stem is kind of like square and you, it doesn't roll in your hand. You can feel it. It's more like a triangle. But anyway, he said the uh, emerald ash borer was not eating on those for some reason. And so uh, he was very fortunate because he's got a lot on his property and they all look very good. You can kind of see them back there. I mean, they're not all. Actually, most of them are up farther back. Okay, guys. Hey, how's it going? Um, just getting some clips here. Wow, it is hot outside. Uh, in the 90s, heat index is into the hundreds, I believe and just really warm but um not much we can do about that other than endure it 
Uh, you probably can't even see me. Um, I'm trying to find a place to put my phone while I'm driving here for a few minutes. But uh, maybe that'll work. Maybe you can look at my uh, nice sweat I got going on. Anyway, yeah, it is hot. I am sweating like crazy. And uh, there's not much breeze. And that makes it bad. Man, but I'll tell you what. Here's what I came out to tell you. About wet my pants, okay? And here's why. I was trimming around a shed in the back of someone's property. And all of a sudden, this raccoon come flying out. He went running, luckily, away from me. I just, like, froze. And uh, it was a wood fence around the property. He jumped up on the fence, hopped up in a tree, and just took off. And, man, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, but uh, luckily I didn't get hurt and uh, he ran away and we were both fine but scared I imagine but anyway just wanted to share that little quick story with you because I've uh, been having adventures like that in a long time alright I gotta get back to work and we'll see if we have some more footage hey guys this is Joffrey with Goose Long Care and I'm just finishing up uh, some mulch job that I did I need to do a little clean up here yet brush off these flagstone but anyway um i did this yesterday and today finished up and uh all around here like i said i gotta clean up a little bit still but did these beds here i didn't do much of the prep work the homeowner actually did that i kind of edged around the beds a little bit and uh put the mulch down but that was about it but I would uh oh good I think there good night I think there was about five yards here um, which is a lot for me you know one guy so anyway just wanted to give you a quick view of what it kind of looked like around here and just got to finish cleaning up and uh, looks much better should have had a before picture I guess all right we'll talk to you guys later Okay, here in the uh, last clip, I just want to show some uh, pictures of some yards, some uh, just some stripes and things like that, some mulch jobs that I've done maybe. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, and it's been good to uh, be back a little bit and showing some work. Uh, maybe I'll get some more videos here in the future. Hey, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Okay, hey, here we go. I got some, uh, this is from my house. Pictures of some stripes I made one night and turned out real well. Um, this is a property that I mow just nice and wide open in the backyard and it stripes up pretty well. And uh, there's another shot of it right there. But it always looks pretty good. I get to mow it nice and high. She likes it that way. This is actually the same customer and uh, I did some mulch work there. There was like a little berm there on the side and then in the front. You can see there's nothing but dirt in there. There's no mulch uh, whatsoever. It hasn't been done in a long time. And so anyway, I cleaned that up a little bit. Um, kind of dig a trench along there so the mulch, you know, doesn't spill over the brick edging. And uh, same thing in here. And then they are going to have some after pictures, what it looked like. Um, ended up putting five yards of mulch down amongst that berm area right in there and then the front of that house and it turned out pretty nice she was very happy about it, it looked really good um i need to clean up a little better in these pictures but uh that's going to help those plants a lot and it's just going to make uh look a lot better but there's just a few more little pictures here coming up and uh like i said it took a lot of mulch but it's well worth it um, this next one here is that property I showed here earlier 
we're uh, just a wide open property good looking place here's some storm damage we had from a uh, big old storm and the cemetery came through I think lightning might have struck that tree and here is a shelf cloud that I took a picture of got a great view of that one night on my bike it was pretty awesome um, this guy's got beautiful hostas just a gorgeous yard and I'm just helping him mow it this one time and then this is uh, Smitty1283, if you're watching, uh, this is your former boss's old place, uh, Dr. John. I don't know if you recognize that backyard, but I mow that for the people that bought the house from him. And so what a gorgeous place there. And this is the 4th of July parade. My cousin was driving that tractor in the parade. And then this guy right here, he's on this old little Steiner mower. It's kind of neat, so I got a picture of that. I thought that was pretty cool. And then this was on the 4th of July also. I was just kind of showing how I mowed a little higher and the difference you can see between the yards and the color. And I guess I showed this property already, um, but I mowed that one on the 4th of July and then I mowed this one here. Hey, but anyway, that's all the footage I got for today. Thank you guys for watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.